radio access networks as we know form the basic component in uh, 3gpp architecture to provide connectivity to the user equipment traditionally it has been understood as a base station which provides the base interface uh, to the mobile phone or any other user the user device with the emergence of cloud infrastructure uh, it is uh, going to be a miss if you do not consider the current deployments which are taking place in radio access networks using the cloud infrastructure that is our focus for today classically a uh, radio access network is part of the uh, communication system that provides uh, connectivity uh, in 4g 5g environment uh, to the user equipment and uh, in turn allows the backhaul connectivity um, to be available to the user equipment so we can think of uh, the user equipment sending and receiving um, wireless signals uh, to uh, the radio access network and which is then providing a wired connectivity to the to the core network this is an overview of uh, what is the classical understanding of uh, the evolved umts terrestrial radio access network here we have an entity called node b and later e node b which is providing a ran connectivity to the user equipment these e node b's form a mesh amongst themselves using the x2 interface and uh, using the s1 interface or the uh, uh, star interface they get connected to the serving gateway or the mobility management entity so cloud ran is essentially the uh, splitting of uh, the hardware and software which was considered to be monolithic in ran so a uh, cloud native software implementation of the ran functionality that is decoupled uh, from the hardware uh, results into some advantages that are intuitive uh, this is going to result into uh, flexibility and uh, uh, faster uh service delivery we will see how this turns out to be faster uh the functionality which was otherwise uh, performed as the baseband uh, signal processing uh through the software would now run on uh, any commercially off the shelf available uh, hardware uh, so what will happen is that uh, we'll have the cloud based software which will be uh, controlling or accessing the hardware um, which was earlier deployed on site now we have some options we can have uh, on site cloud that's known as the uh, private cloud or we could have a data center based uh, cloud uh, service provider um, established service or we could have a public cloud like uh, aws look at the cloud ran which actually moves the baseband uh, system modules away from the antenna maybe tens or hundreds of kilometers away uh, even in certain situations thousands of kilometers away and uh, move them closer to the to the to the core uh, network and uh, offers the pooling capability that is the sharing capability to multiple antennas instead of each antenna having its own dedicated uh, ran based uh, functionality so with this we see that we'll have some advantages which is the first one is immediately going to be the reduction in the total cost of ownership this is going to result into um uh, a very a decreased cost because we are going to have lesser uh, low low charge uh, antennas then we have lesser uh, maintenance visits uh, which are the site uh, visits uh, the pooling of uh, hardware and the uh, and the software at the same time would result into better management of traffic uh, say for example splitting of traffic between the residential areas and the uh, business hubs and then correspondingly the traffic would also be offloaded from one particular antenna to the other so uh, the ultimate advantage is that we are going to have a centralized management activity this even includes uh, uh, centralized software updates and maintenance
the scalability is also going to be enhanced because uh, if once we had the local uh, RAN avail availability, it resulted into uh, stringent uh, traffic steering requirements. Now we'll have better load balancing. Um, so we can think about offloading a cluttered or uh, overly loaded antenna. Uh, this will improve the handovers, uh, better uh, connection establishment, low call uh, failure, uh, low handover failure probabilities. Um, and then uh, the overall signaling between the core network elements and the uh, on-site elements is also going to reduce. Uh, this will result into overall more time for uh, uh, sparing to transmit and receive data. Uh, uh, mechanisms such as the centralized coordinated multipoint transmission, uh, which is a smart way to handle traffic for um, multiple destinations uh, through a centralized mechanism can also be realized. This concept, uh, Cloud RAN, is from Seppo Hemelainen's book on LTE self-organizing networks. I've been referring to it lately. And then there is uh, Ericsson Cloud RAN as well. You might like to have a look at it as well. And then from the Celona network providers, uh, you might like to have a look at how they look at Cloud RAN.